So we're currently in the main lobby of the beautiful Queen Victoria ship. It is decadent, romantic, classic. Oh, words can't describe how beautiful this ship is. Uh, so on this level, uh, we have the main beautiful staircase, which is a perfect photo op opportunity. Uh, we have the purser's office over here. So if you have any questions uh, for the staff, if you want to book an excursion with Cunard, or if you want to exchange some money, things of that nature, uh, you would go to the purse's office to get some assistance. There's always live music in the late afternoon and evening here, so sometimes it's a violinist, a piano player, a harpist, so there's always something beautiful happening on the Queen of Victoria. Guests are invited onto the cruise to do presentations and lectures. In Connections 1, uh, this is a more intimate setting. So you can always come here and there'll be presenters doing some um, talks, sometimes about art, other times about nature, science, um, or you can even use it for your own presentation if you're here uh, to do a bit of work with a group. Um, over here, still in level one, book excursions, so if you want to go on an adventure somewhere, uh, each port offers uh, shuttles, sometimes if there isn't a shuttle available, which is rare, but there are taxis lined up to bring you to your destination, and some ports are so close to the main town, you can literally walk in and then from there take transportation to your final destination. But the staff here are incredibly knowledgeable and helpful, and they'll make sure that your journey is seamless. Level two, there is so much going on on this level. So the decorations here are just absolutely fantastic. I mean, everything is just beautifully done to the highest standards. And different areas have a different feel. So over here we have a stunning bar. Gorgeous hallways. So just down the hall there we have the restaurant, the Britannia, so I'll bring you there in a moment and also the exclusive Britannia Club. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. But in the meantime, yeah, enjoy everybody the bar. Yeah. We also do coffee and teas. We have signature cocktails every day, which is located in your program. So if you feel excited to try something new, there's always something on offer. It's a really classy and sophisticated area. But some people come here in the afternoon to read, to talk, have a nice coffee, or just to enjoy the views. And if you look out the window, the views are always so beautiful and relaxing. You're really spoiled for choice here on the Queen Victoria. There's a space for everybody. All right, let's continue this beautiful tour. So level two is quite busy. There's a lot going on here. So as you can see on each level, you'll have an indication of where you are. We just came from the main lobby, the uh, chart room, which we just left is here. Uh, beside was the Britannia Club, which I'll bring you over in a little bit when it's open again, and the main restaurant called the Britannia Restaurant, who offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner service. We're going to continue and make our way around the Queen's Arcade and Queen's Room. This area is where we see a lot of live performances, dance lessons, activities. We have the Golden Lion Pub, which is fantastic ambiance. They offer traditional pub foods. We have uh, pub quizzes and live bands, a casino, and then we make our way to the Royal Court Theatre. So follow me. Along the ship is lots of beautiful artwork dedicated to the history of Cunard and Queen Victoria, Queen Mary and other ships. So as you walk around, there's something to read, something to look at, um, to really cherish the history behind this fantastic ship and brand. If you're interested in booking a new cruise, just find your way through here at the Voyage Sales Office, where you can book your next exciting cruise 
with the Cunard team. We're now in the Queen's room. It's currently 3.18 p.m., which means between three and four, there's a lovely afternoon tea. So the staff here are offering traditional afternoon tea with white glove service, and it's just a delightful way to enjoy the afternoon. This is Benjamin, he's serving today. <laughs> have traditional uh, Indian sandwiches, tea, scones, a jam, clotted cream. Oh, look at that tray. How exciting is that? So this service is offered every day between 3 and 4 p.m. In a little detail, there are lava trees nearly everywhere on the boat. So they are impeccably clean and located everywhere, so you're never too far away from the convenience of a loo. The Golden Lion Pub. We have a little piece of it written right here on the ship. So we have great live entertainment in the afternoon and evenings. We have uh, drinks and pub foods. Um, always a great vibe in here. Right now it's a bit quiet because it's early afternoon. If I give it a few more hours, I'll bring you back and you'll see how exciting it gets. Let's go inside and have a look. Come on through. You'll see this place will have a completely different vibe this evening. This is the stage where we'll see some light entertainment. We've been very fortunate that we've had the Amethyst duo the folk group that have been performing here every night. It's just been such fun. We have a nice variety of ales, beers, gins, whiskeys, you name it. The bar team have been amazing taking care of everyone here. If you fancy gambling and possibly winning some money, there's a small casino here and for some traditional games like poker, blackjack, roulette. I'm a lucky winner. Every level has stairs and elevators or lifts. So depending on your level of fitness and abilities, you can opt in for the elevator or the lifts. I personally take the, the, uh, the, uh, the stairs every day to keep fit. With the volume of food they offer you here, it is easy to pack on the pounds. So anytime I can walk around or use the stairs, I definitely do. And I'm definitely not the only guest with that idea. If you follow me, we're gonna now go into the Royal Court Theater. I've spent a lot of time here. And the evenings, they have amazing presentations. Um, afternoons, mornings, they have guest speakers. And it can be anything from talking about astronomy to gardening or even uh, sea wildlife mammals. And, oh, the topics here have been brilliant. The presenters have all been very talented and experienced. There's currently something going on at the moment. I think it's a movie. So in the afternoons and the evenings, they show a movie. Um, and each, each day is a different movie. So at the moment, I think they're watching the menu. We're heading to the library. Believe it or not, this is one of my favorite little places to go. I thoroughly enjoy reading. So I've been here every other day, browsing around, having a look at a magazine or a classic that I feel like reading. And staff are very helpful. Um, there's a wide selection of books. Some have been donated by guests over the years. Um, we have a section too where if you brought a book on board and you finished reading it, you can leave it for someone else to pick up and enjoy. There's beautiful views from the windows. You can come here and read or even bring your laptop and do a little bit of emails. They have computers on the next level as well. So if you wanna do some emails from the library, you can have access to that as well.
There's a whole section on travel books, so don't worry if you forgot yours at home. You can pick out one on areas that you're interested in. Um, and when you're on your cruise, you're going to be seeing a lot of places. So you can't really bring all these books with you. So just visit the library. And I'm sure there's a subject that you're going to need to know about on your cruise. So we're heading out of the library into the alcove. Now I often find puzzle makers in this little snug here. And actually today, we have some that have been completed. So there's literally something for everyone here, whether you like knitting, puzzle making, card playing, playing bridge, there's competitions. This ship has something for everyone, truly. Calling all card players. Have a look at what's going on in there. We have games, cards. This room is always packed. Beautiful bell. I won't dare ring it because everyone's focused right now. It might be a bit distracting if I start ringing the bell, but it's so tempting. So, still on level three. <laughs> We have a bookshop and we sell a few little amenities. Hello. So, hello. If you've forgotten to buy a book or you finish your book and you want something new, there's the bookshop here. There's also lots of little snacks and goodies. If you fancy a little hint of chocolate or a little salty treat. And if you forgot to pack something or you've run out a few bits, there are some uh, little essentials over here. Um, but you can always always stock up on things when you go to shore on each port. Mm -hmm. I actually bought a book and I'm working on it at the moment. It's a murder mystery about um, a murder that happened on a cruise ship. <laughs> I'm only starting it, but it's very exciting. Come on, true. For the art enthusiasts, there's an art gallery and there are auctions, opportunities to meet guest speakers and artists on board. And um, there's something for everyone here. So we have some uh, modern artwork by Mr. Brainwash. We have um, Kip McGarry, Barry Hilton. And the exhibition rotates during the ship, so some of the artwork changes and uh, the pre presenting topics will be different. So if you are an art lover, um, you'll be able to come here and enjoy some beautiful pieces of art and even enjoy some private presentations with artists or the curators here on Cunard. Those of you who like shopping, there is a shopping boulevard here. So there are watches, beautiful jewelry, Perfumes, you name it. And if we have a look at this beautiful balcony, this is the Queen's room. Again, there's always live music here on board. It just creates such an atmosphere. about Kunar is um, they also feature uh, different lectures and presentations about the different types of gemstones and pearls and you can learn the history and the origins of certain pieces so very interesting if you go onto this side we have the actual Kunar collection store so if you want to pick up a memento from your lovely journey we're fortunate at the moment we are on the centenarian voyage of Queen Victoria so 100 years so I've been seeing a few passengers wearing this already their shirts caps notebooks watermarks pens you name it 
So it's a good idea if you know someone that's on the ship. You want to buy them a little memento, you can buy it here. And if you come this way, I even have adorable things for children. Look at these cute little teddy bears. And the ship. So cute. Of course, since the majority of the guests are adults, there are stores all around the ship selling dresses, watches, and some nice jewelry, and bags. When you go on shore, each country has amazing shops and markets, so you're likely to find lots of amazing things as you travel the world. of deck three. Ship 
amazing moment. is all the staterooms and on each level there's a laundrette which is open around 7 or 7 30 until 9 p.m. So we've been talking to some passengers about what room to select so after speaking to some um, avid uh, and enthusiastic cruisers that have been on multiple cruises in their lifetime um, the feedback overall has been if you're on a short journey um, an inside cabin is just fine um, if you're going to go on a longer journey, having a window or even a balcony is definitely worth the upgrade. So the longer the journey, the more I think you want to have access to some, you know, fresh air and have that ability to enjoy both inside and outside of your cabin. I think that's where the expression cabin fever uh, plays a part. <laughs> so I know having had a, a smaller room on this occasion that um, having a balcony is definitely worth it. These stairs will definitely keep you in shape. I was on a boat recently that had 17 levels, so if you can imagine the workout on that one. <laughs> so we're on level 9. This is where the Lido restaurant is located. The decks and the pools as well, the hot tubs. So if you come over this way, we'll go to the map. So we have a look over here. We have the Lido pool, whirlpools. We have the grill, an outdoor grill, which makes snacks for passengers, a Lido bar. Head over into the restaurant. And then the restaurant, they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet style. So if you didn't want to have the formality of the Britannia restaurant, where it's more of a three course um, menu, then you can just opt for the Lido, come in when you want at the key times when it's open and just grab a snack, a meal, or some complimentary drinks. Let's go have a look outside. It is a beautiful day today. So we're blessed today with a beautiful sunny day, perfect breeze. We have the bar here so the passengers can order a drink of their choice. You can come out and relax, read, get some sun, swim, enjoy the hot tub, meet some new people. And on the other side is the grill. This is where you have just the most beautiful views at the top deck. There's still one more deck or so ahead of us, but I'll show you that in a little bit. This is where the main pools and hot tubs are located. So many happy people. I mean, yeah. How could you be unhappy here? This is a little slice of paradise. So even if you don't know anybody going onto this cruise, between the staff and passengers, you're guaranteed to make new friendships. Everyone here so far has been just so warm and welcoming. And I'm only here doing a short stint from San Francisco to Sydney. But a lot of the passengers here, about 1,200 of them, are doing around the world. And for some, this isn't their first trip. So I've come to learn a few top tips from these avid cruisers. Should we go grab a bite to eat? Let's go to the Lido Grill. Tell me of yours. So over here, this is, you have access to this 
tea, coffee, juice, water, amenities. Nice selection of different types of teas here. Um, a little something for everyone. At the moment, the buffet is being prepared for the evening meal, but this whole area is filled with delicacies from all over the world, and some nights they have different themes. So we have German night, we have Mexican, Indian. So you never quite get bored. There's a little something for everyone. Obviously, being at sea, there's a lot of fresh seafood, smoked salmon, prawns, white fish. Um, yeah, it's it's hard not to resist. I have to admit, I think I've put on a bit of weight in the last 20 days, but um, those stairs are keeping me on the keeping me in shape. As you can see, there's lots of space here. Yeah. Every time we've come, we've always managed to get a table. The staff are very responsive, so they're always clearing things up, resetting. And the chefs here have been really, really amazing. Um, being gluten-free and vegan, uh, we've had uh, chefs that have prepared things for us on the spot uh, to make sure that it suits our dietary needs. And uh, I never shy from the challenge. <laughs> In the afternoon and evening, we also put a little snacking buffet on. So in between meals, if you are feeling a peckish, you can grab some leftovers and some fresh sandwiches and snacks. Oh, and there was such a wide variety of sweet snacks. It's hard not to say no, but I put my blinders on and I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go to the next area called the Winter Garden. This has been really practical actually because there's been some days at sea where it's been a bit overcast or rainy and um, not been able to enjoy every single sunny day like we have today. So that is the reality of being on sea. Some areas are chalkier and more overcast. So the Winter Garden is a lovely space to again enjoy drink, read, have conversations with a new friend. Again, more complimentary food and drink. And we're just very comfortable here. It's very relaxing. Small stage here in the winter garden, so there's often live music um, and even quiz nights. So, if you like a pub quiz, um, you'll find some in the pub or in the Queen's Garden, uh, the winter garden. Sorry, fancy a drink? The bar is always here, ready to take your order. And now, I'm going to bring you the next deck. It's a slightly different layout, but same concept. Sun loungers, pool, hot tubs. If we continue our journey through here, there's another bar called the Pavilion Bar. We have complimentary towels as well, so don't worry about packing your own towels. Cunard provide those for you. A fancy game of table tennis or ping pong. There's two tables here, but be warned, it's a bit tricky. With a moving ship, you never know where your ball's gonna go. <laughs> Intense. So, on the same level, we have the Maria Wellness and Beauty Spa. So, we have these wonderful masseuse and treatment specialists here to take good care of your body. Uh, they can do pedicures, manicures, facials, massages. So, if you visit the Maria Wellness and Beauty Spa, you can have a look at the list of products and services that they offer. You just have to go to the reception or ring in advance and book an appointment. Hello. 
So two here, we have, um, well actually, before we go through here, um, when you book with the Mareal uh, spa team, you'll have access to the Aqua Therapy Center. So I can't go in there right now because there's some people using it. But you have a private um, spa, pool, loungers. It's very quiet and relaxing. So that comes with your package, so you have access to that. If I can get in later, I'll try. We have a workout studio. So when you want to do one-on-one -on -one dance lessons, um, or even um, have one-on-one -on -one PT, you can sign up to have some sessions with them in the gym or in a private studio, depending on your comfort level. Uh, we have female and male changing rooms. Uh, they have a sauna inside, towels, showers, toilets, and very nice facilities. Treatment rooms are through the hallway. Again, depending on what um, you're having done, you'll be um, ushered to the treat room and uh, relax and enjoy yourself. This is another space I frequent often, the gym. It's actually very busy today, it's good to see. So you have a nice variety of equipment here. And you have, you have spinning classes, yoga classes. So if you're interested in signing up for some courses, you just come through here. And there's different themed activities. So you have stretching, uh, high intensity training, yoga, Pilates, cycling, and you can either do dropping class, which is up to, at the moment, $20 per class, or you can do an unlimited pass for just shy of $100. Gives you unlimited access to everything that's available here on this table. So if you're here for a long time, it's definitely a value for money to sign up for the pass. Um, and you can have, um, you know, just access to everything really and the courses which is wonderful. place in the world that you'd like to run in and it, it, it brings it up on screen so you can actually run in Auckland before you arrive to Auckland or run in Costa Rica in the jungle so it, uh, it definitely helps make the workout go quickly when you have a lovely distraction on the screen. Um, if you don't want that you can listen to the news or some music um, or nothing at all and just get in the zone and hit that target. So as we head out from the Commodore uh, to a little hallway, this deck level has lots of activities. So every day there's something, something going on here. So below us is a pool and hot tub. And then above us is another deck. So what we'll do is we'll go around this area and then we'll frequent the next two levels up. Maybe, maybe we'll speed this part up a little bit. <laughs> so sometimes when level three is a bit busy, I'll come up on this level and come for a walk or a run. It's generally less busy. She's stalking me. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that whole waving thing. <laughs> Kay wants to be famous too. Hi. So I met Kay on this wonderful trip and it's just, there's some people that just touch you and Kay's one of these people that I've met <gasps> and you just naturally just have this bond and it's just beautiful and I guarantee you when you come on the ship you will make some new friends. You will, yeah, you will. You it's will. amazing. It really is. Oh, isn't it? oh no, I mean it, I mean it. You guys are amazing. Edit that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. So we have a little oh thanks. So we're here for those who are uh, putting or golf enthusiasts. You can have a little go. Um let me have a little go. Come on in. Come on in. Let's see. I still have what it takes. Days when the ship is stable, like today, um, 
it's easier. But some days it's pretty choppy and actually maybe not as safe to come out of here. So let's just see what I can do. Careful cameraman. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> maybe I should come back up here and practice a little bit more. All right, come on in. So they do have putting competitions and target hitting competitions. And you can win either bottles of wine, depending on what the prize is, or Cunard stickers. And at the end, you can exchange your Cunard stickers for some prizes. Uh, so if you're feeling quite competitive, every day there's some activities and competitions to get involved with and earn some points for some wine. Here's the children's zone. So it's geared for young toddlers. Uh, there's a little something to do. But to be fair, there's not that many families here. It's definitely a cruise gear for an older clientele. Uh, to be honest, we're the youngest passengers here. Uh, we're in our late 30s. I think the next youngest couple was early 50s. Uh, but that being said, we've had a wonderful time. It's been so calm and quiet and enjoyable. And we've met amazing people. And uh, we've really thoroughly enjoyed it. But for those of you who are looking for you know, a night nightlife, um, more of a party vibe, and then this is not quite the ship for you. But that being said, in the evening, there's a lot going on. There's even some discos and parties and things like that. So um, it just depends what you're looking for. But don't let the fact that this is designed more for adults deter you. You know, like I said, I'm the youngest one here, but I'm having a terrific time. And I think if you're not the party type, um, this is definitely for you. And then this brings us to the back of the boat where we had the other pool. presentations from authors or um, writers uh, and had uh, some really nice presentations in here. So we're on deck 10. I'm just going to show you the map here. Again, the idea of the layout. So if you look here, that's the Yacht Club, which I'll show you in a moment. And then I'm going to take you just underneath. We had some of the spa treatments, so that's the second level. I'll bring you through the Commodore Club, which I spent a lot of time in. We have Admiral Lounges and Churchill's Cigar Lounge on that side. And then on the next side, for anyone traveling with children and toddlers, there's an actual little kid zone and play zone for them to keep them entertained on the journey. So if you want to have a look, I'm not going to talk because someone's having a private lesson. It's a beautiful room. Here, come out on the side. to learn how to do the cha-cha samba, the waltz. And we've been on here for weeks already and we've become really, really good dancers. So if you're looking to learn a new skill set, Kuna will definitely teach you a thing or two, whether it's knitting, learning how to make something in the arts and crafts club, even learning a new few steps. So for those of you who enjoy a nice cigar and a whiskey at Church's Cigar Lounge, is the spot for you. And on these walls here are different ports that the ship has been to. So on the two sides of the hallway, there's lots of plaques. You can have a look 
uh, everywhere that Cunard's been over the last, uh, the Cunard Victoria has been over the last uh, 100 years, right? Oh, over here is the um, Admiral's Lounge. So there's been some small intimate um, presentations in here, hence the lecterns, but generally people are here just to have a quiet conversation or even read. Actually, in, on my journey, I haven't really seen many people in here, but this might be a nice little tip for those of you who want to hide away from the, the noise and want to find somewhere quite private um, to just relax, read, or have a nice conversation with someone. I've spent many, many hours in the Commodores. Uh, I really enjoy this place. Uh, in the after mornings and afternoons, it's nice and quiet. You have a beautiful view of the ocean. You have a bar and you make really nice coffees. In the evenings, there's always live music here. So whether it's jazz, a piano player, the mood in the evening is just wonderful. boat has so much to offer. This is the Yacht Club where we were witnessing the dance lesson. There's a whole other level on top of that. The only thing though is windier. The higher you go, the more you feel the movement of the ship and the windier it is as well. the long stints at sea sometimes it can be as long as five to nine days long in between ports there is so much to do and learn and see that I mean, you really can't get bored Tonight, the cast are going to be doing the show Top Hat. 
but every night there's something different, whether it's a comedian, uh, acrobatics, musicals, um, you name it, there's something amazing happening in the Royal Theatre. It's a casual dining experience. You can come to the Lido restaurant where we have chefs that can prepare um, bespoke pizzas with all your favorite toppings or design your own favorite pasta dish. Now, if you come with me, I'll show you the wonderful buffet. There's literally something to tantalize all your taste buds. The dessert section. 24 hour ice cream, soups, seafood section. For cheese lovers, there's always a nice variety of cheeses and crackers, bread, cold cuts. So, for instance, there's something you don't want, I don't know, uh, butter on, they can make a special portion for you. They have lots of salads as well, cold salads, and you can basically design your own salad here at the bar. There's sushi in another section, and another dessert section. So, sometimes it's crepes, sometimes it's rum pineapples, flambe right in front of you. It's just something for everyone here. <laughs> so welcome to the Britannia Club. If you are interested in an upgraded experience and a more bespoke one-on-one -on -one service, then you can upgrade your dining package to here. Uh, additionally, there's the Princess Grill as well as another option. So this is the restaurant where you can have the option to have your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner or all three meals here. So it's often a three course meal in the evening and you have a preset menu with lots of delicious options and they are really good about accommodating for dietary requirements. Um, if you wanted to skip all of this and have something less formal, then you can go to the Lido restaurant to have a buffet. Oh, here we go. Look, you're being on 